Hello, I'm Mawson Li, a member in the team from Shanghai Jiao Tong University and Mitsubishi Electric Research Laboratories. I'm glad to introduce our paper, Dynamic Multiscale Graph Neural Networks for 3D Scattering-Based Human Motion Prediction. Human motion prediction aims to build a predictor to generate future motions given the past ones based on the human body skeletons, which could be widely used in our daily life. In the previous studies, many works concatenated all the joint features as a body vector to learn the motion dynamics on it, while they did not exploit the crucial relations or constraints between different body components. Some other methods only built joint-wise relations, while they were insufficient to reflect a functional group of joints. To address this problem, in this work, we propose to represent human bodies in multiple scales such as joint scale, low-level part scale, and high-level part scale, where joint scales carries detailed dynamics for individual joints, and the causal scales carry more abstract motion states performed by the functional groups of joints. We initialize the human bodies with human prior and train dynamics multiscale graphs on it from the motion data. With the multiscale graphs on the body representation learning, we propose our dynamic multiscale graph neural network, DMGNN, which includes several key ingredients. That is, we build multiscale graphs to learn features from functional joint groups. We construct trainable and dynamic graphs to flexibly represent semantics in various levels. We design a single scale graph convolution to extract high level features in single scales, and we design cross scale graphs to enhance information propagation between scales. The proposed DMGN has several main contributions. First, we propose a novel multiscale graph computational unit, MGCU, as a basic component in our model, which includes single scale graph convolution blocks, SSGCBs, to extract features at individual scales, and cross scales fusion blocks, CSFBs, to fuse features across scales. Specifically, SSGCBs employ trainable single-scale graphs and perform spatial graph convolutions and temporal convolutions to extract motion features. CSFBs embed cross-scale features to calculate the cross-scale graphs between any two body components in two scales. And then, we propose the entire architecture of the DMGN which has an encoder and a decoder, including hierarchical MGCUs and a sequential graph-based GRU to generate future poses step by step. We use an L1 norm loss to train all the modules end to end. Experiments shows that our model achieves effective and efficient motion prediction in both short and long terms on large two-scale datasets. For example, our method outperforms state-of-the-art method for short-term prediction on human 3.6M. And we achieve competitive results for short- and long-term prediction on the dataset of CMU mocap. We visualize the generated poses and show that our model tends to generate precise and reasonable poses in short- and long-terms on the different actions such as waiting and taking photo. We also demonstrate that our model runs more efficiently than many previous methods, reflecting more practical applications potentially. Based on the ablation studies, we show that when we use three fine two core scales, we tend to obtain the best performance, since three scales effectively provide both abstract and detailed information but too many scales over in the graph, which hurt the fine grained motion prediction. We also found that 4 MGCUs help to achieve the best results. We visualize the learned dynamics multiscale graphs. We see that the multiscale graphs are dynamic across various network layers which carry different structures and information. The cross scale graphs with blue edges also reveal the functional group converted from finer scales to quarter scales. To summary, we review our contribution on model designs and experiments. Thanks for your listening.